Hey everyone, here is week five, lesson one, uh, fraction word problems. Uh, I gotta wear a hat because my hair is getting too crazy and long, so I gotta contain it. Anyway, uh, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set everything up, uh, problems one through seven, so make sure you're on explain everything. Uh, if you hit play and full screen this YouTube video and then the home button, it'll shrink it down so you can be working on uh, the explain everything and watching the video at the same time. Hopefully that works out for you. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll set up problems one through seven, and then you can just exit out of here and finish it on your own. Uh, but then I'll actually continue and go back over one through seven uh, and finish the problems. If you need to go back and look and check your work, you're welcome to do that or do it with me if you um, have a question about a problem or whatever. So let's get started right away. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here, uh, make sure you zoom in to do the work and then zoom back out again to screenshot because I want this sent to me in Class Dojo as a two page document like this, not two separate pages. Page one will be very sad and lonely. Some people <coughs> Sonny and Zander, sometimes send me um, separate pages and page one is very, very sad to be missing page two. Uh, so thank you for those of you who send it like this. It's easy for me to find when you send it. All right, here we go. Uh, the table below shows the amount of flour and cups used per batch for each type of muffin. Uh, show your work below. So let's take care of this. Show your work and write your final answer as a mixed number with no improper fractions. And we have to simplify. Okay, so mixed number, no improper fractions, and we have to simplify it. Okay, uh, showing all of our work. So let's take a look at this. The question says, so let's bracket it. What is the total amount of flour to make one batch of all types of muffins? Okay, so in the muffin type here, I see uh, all the different muffin types. I see the blueberry, chocolate chip, poppy seed. Okay, um, I need to find the total of them, which is add them all up, right? Uh, my workspace is gonna be right here. So let's go ahead and set this up uh, three and three fourths plus three and one fourth. Uh, you could line all three up and just solve them um, or do two of them, then add on the next one, which is what I'm going to do. So uh, three and three fourths plus three and one fourth, whatever I get here, uh, then I'm going to add the three and two fourths. So this is the setup for it. Um, go ahead and add those. Just remember, we're not adding denominators. So you should not end up with eighths and then twelfths. When you're adding fractions and subtracting fractions, you're just adding the amount of fourths. Okay? You're not magically turning them into eighths. Okay? That's multiplying that uh, when you multiply by a whole number and make equivalent fractions, you're cutting things up more or, or composing them back together. All right, so go ahead and try to solve that um, if you want or just get it set up and go to number two, okay? All right, number two, Rachel filled a bucket with three and two eighths gallons of water. A few minutes later, she realized that only one and three eighths of gallons of water remained. How much, oh, there's my question, bracket it, how much water had leaked out of the bucket? Okay, show your work. So I have task one and task two. Okay, when we're talking about a leaked out amount, we're talking about like a missing part. So think about what operation is, oh, I know the total, I know one of the parts, and I have a missing part I need to find. That's subtraction, right? Okay, so we're gonna subtract the big number minus the small number to get that missing part, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll label this total part and we need to find the MP, okay? No TP, major problem. All right, so what is that missing part? We're gonna set it up with three and two eighths minus one and three eighths. This time we do have a problem. So take a look at this, you have Fractions are subtracted or added first. So we have two eighths minus three eighths. Can you do that? Not easily, no. So we need to do some regrouping like last week. So let's go ahead and regroup and cross out the three. When I rip out a three, what am I holding in my hand? What is a whole? Ready? 
Okay, so eight eighths would be in my hand. So I rip out the eight eighths, which leaves me with a two holes, but I need to add the eight eighths to that fraction. So go ahead and do that work. Um, put your official, how many eighths do you have now? Eight eighths plus two eighths, and then subtract your fraction, subtract your whole number, get what you have at the end there. Uh, but, okay. Take a look and see, can you simplify it? Is it all good? That type of thing. And then you can write your answer down below, okay? Uh, we'll go back and finish that later. All right, number three, Professor Zander weighed two pieces of metal for an experiment. Uh, the piece of iron weighed seven and seven tenths pounds. The piece of aluminum weighed eight and five tenths pounds. How much did both pieces of metal weigh? Show your work. Okay. All right. So here we go. Bracket our question. Here we go. Uh, and we also need to show your work, write it as a proper fraction, and simplify. So we have three tasks going on. Hi, I'm Batman. Jump scare. Okay. Uh, how much did both? We know that that means we don't know the total. Okay. So we have a part, part, total. The iron weighed this much. That's one of the parts. The aluminum weighed this much. That's another part. Let's go ahead and set those up. So we have eight and five tenths plus seven and seven tenths. I'll let you add those. What do we add or subtract first? The whole number or the fraction? If you said fraction, good job. We add the fraction first, now, then we add our whole number. But we're going to end up with an improper fraction here, so you're going to have to change it. Okay. So whatever you get, you have to put another equals and get rid of that improper fraction. Name that whole and add on that extra whole, get, manipulate that around a little bit. And then I want you to realize that you're going to have to simplify too, because the fraction you get you can simplify that, okay? So you're gonna have to divide by something over something. So give that a try and see if you can mess around and figure out what to do. Uh, I will go back and finish this up if you need help with that. All right, let's look at this one. Lucian drove eight and two fifths miles in his car. Which fraction is equal to the number of miles that he drove? Okay, let's bracket the question. Which fraction equal? Right? So all I need to do is find the equivalent fraction. And I notice if you look at all of these, these are all improper fractions. So I just need to turn mine into an improper fraction. It's way easier than trying to turn all those into mixed numbers. That's a lot more work. So let's just change ours to an improper fraction. So we have eight wholes and two fifths. Okay, so what is a whole? Ready? Okay, so a whole is five fifths. How many five fifths do I have? Well, I have eight of the five fifths. So what is that? Okay, five times eight is 40 fifths plus the two fifths, okay? So how many total fifths do I have? Remember our trick with this is we can just go like this, five times eight and then add the extras and it'll tell us how many fifths. So five times eight is 40 plus the extras equals 42 fifths. And then you can find your answer. Sorry, I accidentally did it for you. You better not get that one wrong. All right, so we don't need to go back and do that one. All right, let's look at number five over here. The coffee pot holds five and five, six cups of coffee. Bracket the question, which expression matches the amount that it holds? I'm gonna let you tackle that one on your own. I'll show you the answer at the end so you can check your work. Uh, look at number six. Ben ate two and one six trays of brownies. Cadence ate more brownies than Ben. She does love brownies. Bracket the question, how many brownies could Ben have eaten? Uh, so let's underline important info. Ben ate that many trays and Cadence ate more. You just need to find the one fraction that is more than two and one six. Okay, so notice that all of the choices again are improper fractions. So change your two and one six to an improper fraction and then you just need to find Cadence's fraction that's more than that. So I'll let you tackle that one and see what you get. All right, number seven, 
a log weighed 31 fourths pounds. After termites ate it, the log weighed less. So how much could the log weigh now? You need to find the one that's less than 31 fourths. I don't wanna change all of those to an improper fraction, so let's just change your improper fraction to a mixed number. Go ahead and mess with that and try to find which weight is less than that. All right, so go ahead and you can pause this and work on your uh, papers. And if you would like then to go back and check your work, um, I'm going to right now then go ahead and show the answer. So if you need help, you can look at how to do that or um, just check your work by skimming through. All right, here we go. Checking all the answers. Number one, as we finish this, we have six and four fourths, which you also know is just seven. Okay, So you can keep going with this or just change it to seven, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, so seven plus three and two fourths. Uh, I just, you know, nothing plus three fourths is, or nothing plus two fourths is two fourths. And seven plus three is 10. So we have 10 and two fourths as our answer. Uh, what is the total amount of flour used to make one batch of all types of muffins? Uh, we're going to answer the question. The total cups of flour are, I can't see it now, uh, 10 and two-fourths cups of flour, okay? All right, on to number two. Uh, here we go with Rachel's problem. It's our subtraction with regrouping. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up now. So eight-eighths plus two-eighths is ten-eighths, and now I can continue my subtraction because we can subtract the fraction. Ten-eighths minus three-eighths equals seven-eighths, and two holes minus one hole is one hole. So one and seven eighths gallons have leaked out. There's the missing part. All right, over to Professor Xander here. Uh, we are just adding these fractions. So let's zoom in nice and big so you can see them. Um, we'll all use blue. So we have eight and five tenths plus seven and seven tenths. So five tenths plus seven tenths. We add the fractions first. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 tenths. Seven plus eight we know is 15 holes, but that's an improper fraction, so we need to change it now. So I can see that in 12 tenths, there is more than a hole. A hole is 10 tenths. So I have 16 holes with two tenths left over because I pulled out that 10 tenths from the 12 tenths. Okay, so there we go. Uh, but it says to simplify it, so take a look at this part. Notice the two tenths can be simplified. I can divide that by two over two and I get 16 holes and one fifth as my final most simplified answer. Sorry, that's right behind my head. If you got this, then good job to you, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and put it in. Both pieces of metal weighed 16 and one fifth pounds total. All right, looking at your answer for four, we already answered that. Uh, looking at five, uh, which expression matches that? So five and five, six. I just need to find one that equals five and five, six. Uh, oh man, figures. Gosh. Three, two thirds plus three thirds is, oh, they're tricking you. Five thirds. If you accidentally added those, that's where they were going to get you. Okay, so this one does not work. Okay, let's check this one. So we have three plus two is five, six. Four plus one is five, ding, ding, ding. We found our answer. So there we go. They're trying to trick you with letter A. Don't get tricked. We don't add or subtract denominators like that. All right, last one, number seven. Um, we need to find, oops, nope, over to six, sorry. Uh, how many brownies could have been eaten? We need to find the one that's more than two and one sixth. So let's turn this into an improper fraction. Six times two, because we want to know we have two six six. Okay, a whole is six six. So two of those is six six, 12 six. So two times six is 12, plus the extra, we have 13 six. Okay, this is Ben, by the way. Notice labeling to help make organize my work. So I need to find the one that is more than 13 six. 
So I look through there and ding, 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 I found my answer, letter D. Okay, all right, number seven, last one. Uh, we need to find how much could the log weigh now. We need to find the one that is less than that. Okay, so let's change this. So what is a whole for this? A whole is four fourths. How many four fourths do I have? So counting by fours, four, eight, 12, but that's a big waste of time. So I'm just gonna go four times what gets me close to 31. So four times nine is 36, that went over. Four times eight is 32, oh, I'm close, but that's over. Four times seven is 28. So four times seven is 28. How much extra? 29, 30, 31, three extra. And they're still fourths, okay? So seven and three fourths is the log. Which one could be the new weight of the log? So find the one that's less than that, okay? So looking over, uh, I found it, it is D, okay? All right, so there you go. Uh, zoom out to this screen on your Explain Everything, screenshot it, and send it into Class Dojo, please. All right, great job, guys.